Backed by popular demand, the students want more videos. So, here you go. We're going to do the windshield. Um, yeah, all those numbers, they look scary and intimidating, but you know what? It's uh, not that bad. So, let's break it apart and uh, start with like this right here. Uh, it's actually a line going across and then three arcs. So, here's what we're going to do. We're going to open up Inventor and start a new sketch, throw it on the XY plane, and we are going to do a line across, and that line is going to be 3.04. All right, I'm gonna do a lot of construction lines, and those are something that I haven't really gone over yet. So construction lines are not object lines. They're just kind of uh, lines for reference. All right, so that's right here. So you can create some construction lines. And I want to do a straight line. And I'm going to make it one. You can see it's a dotted blue line there. And then I'm going to go across and we're going to do a line across. We want that perpendicular at 2.55. All right, I'm going to hit escape. And actually, I'm going to do another line. So I'm going to just hit L on my keyboard. And I'm going to start on this line on the right. And I'm going to go across. And that one's going to be. Uh, 3.01 all right I'm going to use my actually I'm going to move this uh, if I can there we go move that slightly above it I'm going to use my dimensioning tool and click here and my new construction line I'm going to call that 6, I'm sorry, 0.64. All right. So I've got a bunch of, of reference points, and this is where I'm going to start making my arcs. So I'm going to click on arc. I'm going to do this front one first. I'm going to click on the origin, and then I'm going to click on where we just constructed, I want, see I can have this arc going this way, and I want that to be six. Oops, I need to take off construction lines. So if I take off construction lines, I have to, I have to redraw that. Sorry about that. So take off your construction line, draw an arc there to there, and the um, the radius we want is six. There we go. All right. The next next arc I'm going to draw is from the bottom right corner to this top corner, and that arc is also six. Okay. So now I'm going to play connect the dots. I'm going to take an arc here to here, bend that out, and that is actually 0.4. Okay, so we've got that. We uh, need to add some constraints. So we want to add this constraint. Oh, uh, we can't because we need to delete some things. We need to delete this dimension here and we need to delete this dimension here. And now let's check it out. All right, see how that constraint just went right onto it. So the, the uh, constraint I'm using is a tangent constraint. Uh, the next one I wanna make tangent is this one to this one. There we go, it's all blue. That's what we want. All right. Good so far. Go ahead and hit finish sketch. And 
Then we want to extrude this part and I'm going to go away and we're going to go 2.55. All right. The next thing we want to do is fillet some edges. All right. So let's grab our fillet, and that we want as 0.5. So let's do this edge and that edge. Go ahead, green check that off. And then we will shell out the bottom. So we want to flip it. And shell. Sorry for that awkward pause. I had to check the directions. I can't memorize all the dimensions. Um, so we have to shell that 0 0.07. Go ahead. If you haven't rotated it and look at the bottom of your windshield, do that now. I like to use the, um, the navigation box there. And then 07, click the bottom, hit that green check mark, and you've got the top of a windshield. So this is a good point to uh, take a break. Uh, make sure you have everything looking the way you want it. And we're going to um, add the inside in here just a sec. So make sure you save this now in your inventor folder as windshield and your initials. All right. 